guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you a full tour of my house. Alright, if you're new here, my name is Claire and this channel is all about mom stuff, lady stuff, and life stuff. So definitely hit that subscribe button down below if you are into any of that. Today, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my house. It's quite small, so if you've been following me for a long time, thank you by the way. You've probably seen most of it, but I really enjoy watching this type of video on YouTube, especially of like people that I follow. Like, I love seeing their like design ideas and how they do things in their home. So um, I figured I would take you guys through our house today. Um, also, stay to the very end because I have a special announcement um, to let you guys know at the end of this video. So uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, when you walk into my house, the first thing you see is our living room. Um, right now, uh, Gianni and the boys are just playing with some blocks, um, and Duke is pondering out the window. Um, but this is like a pretty basic living room. It's not super huge. We kind of have had to, um, you know, do a little finagling to fit our furniture in. Uh, my father actually built this, um, like corner piece to fit our TV so it wouldn't take up any floor space. The <laughs> curtains are from Ikea. And some of my favorite things in this room, I have this little Risper established 2016. Um, my friend got that for me. And um, a couple other like little art pieces. This board is for hanging photos, which I think is really cool because you can change them out all the time. And my sister got this uh, for us for our wedding. Um, you know, it's obviously Risper spelled in like unique letters. So this is kind of the first room you see when you walk in and over here is our playroom Oh that ended up on the floor <laughs> But this is where we spend a lot of our time all the boys toys are in here as well as their kitchen That is from Ikea. You'll find a lot of things in here are from Ikea uh, this little cart here It's so good for small storage love it also from Ikea <laughs> Here's a portrait I painted of Duke because I'm super cool like that. Um, and yeah, here's my desk where I do my editing. I got this desk on Amazon. I got the chair on eBay. I will try to link all of the things I'm saying down below like as best as I can. Um, that fireplace is actually a gas fireplace, but we have it turned off because of the boys just for safety reasons. So it's not a huge area, but we make do with what we have. All right, moving over here, we have these really cool pillars. This house was actually built in 1916, so it still has a lot of the like original elements that I think are really cool and unique of that time period. Um, this is our small little dining room. This table I actually picked up secondhand. It is from the like 50s or 60s. It's a vintage linoleum table. Um, here we just have a little. Uh, I don't know, a nook or something. Probably I could put a lamp there, but you know, I don't know. The art we have in this room is pretty minimal. We have a little sign that we like to change. I actually got this at Meyer, which is a store uh, found in the Midwest, so if you have one in your area, they might have one with your state on it too. Um, I thought that was really cool. This is about all the storage that we have down here. We don't have a coat closet or anything like that, so we have to be really smart uh, with our storage. This is where we put our shoes and our coats. A lot of times people with small living spaces don't um, think about going up. So we actually added uh, this shelf. We just like stained it ourselves. Um, it didn't cost very much to make. And this is where we keep uh, like hats and mittens and stuff like that. Things we don't need all the time. Well, I guess this time of year we do, but um, it's a nice way uh, to just add some more storage um, without like making your space feel cluttered. I actually also got these chairs on Amazon. They were such a good deal. I can't remember. It was something like $100 for four of them. Um, I will link those. As well as these tulips. You might know I love, love, love tulips. They're like my favorite flower. These are actually fake tulips, but they feel super real. And I love the company I ordered them from. I will link that down below too. Our high chair is from Ikea. It is the best, especially if you've got a small space um, because it is like so minimal. Here we have our little pocket bathroom. I think originally in this house, it was probably a closet. 
but at some point it was converted into a little bathroom. Um, so not the biggest space, but it definitely works just fine for us. Oh, hello there. This is one of the rooms that we kind of redid when we bought the house, just to kind of make it a little more to our taste. Um, but yeah, pretty simple. These are actually the flowers I uh, used on my wedding day. They're made of um, chiffon. So there's a little tidbit for you. And now moving in to my kitchen, which you've probably seen me in a lot of times. Hold on, let me turn the light on. There we go. Um, these stools I actually got secondhand and I actually refinished them. I used decoupage with um, wrapping paper on top of them to make them this way, so it only cost me a couple dollars. And this is our lovely kitchen. Pretty, uh, pretty standard. Um, I think in our next house I might uh, go for a lighter cabinet. But these were in such nice shape, I didn't want to uh, paint them or anything like that. We have um, lighting underneath, which is like amazing, and I don't think I would ever go back after that, having a kitchen like that. Um, here, here is our guppy. Hello. His name is Coral Reef. There's also some baby guppies in there and uh, some cherry shrimp. Um, this door right here goes to our basement, but I definitely won't take you down there because, you know, it's basementy and scary. This actually is the coolest thing ever. My father made this for us. And it's like a little stool and it's actually adjustable like on the sides. I don't know if you can see as the kids grow um, so that the boys can help me out in the kitchen. Uh, so I think that's super cool. And yeah, that is our entire downstairs. All right, heading upstairs, we have this gate. I don't remember the brand, um, but I did get it again on Amazon, so I will link it down below. Um, we really uh, like this one. We've had a couple different gates, and this one has held up really nicely. Um, so we're pretty into the hat. And as you go upstairs, we have another gate. I don't remember, I don't know, I probably wouldn't recommend this one. It's not as easy to install. And right over here we have our bathroom. And this is also our laundry room. So it's really important that we keep this room clean because, you know, if we miss one day of laundry, it ruins our entire upstairs. Oh, hello again. This is our uh, tub, um, and actually all of this tile, this came with our house. Um, it wasn't what we chose, but we were really happy with it, so we decided not to change it. It looked, looked good. And this thing right here, you may have seen if you've watched my like Ikea hauls. I got this at Ikea. It's so brilliant. You can like hang all sorts of stuff on it, and yeah, love it. This cart actually is not from Ikea. I got this one on Amazon because I don't live very close to Ikea and I didn't want to drive like an hour and a half to get another one. So I got like a knockoff version, so I'll link it down below. Right, and coming through here, we'll go right over into Desmond's bedroom. Desmond is, I don't know, like what, 20, 21 months old? He's He's getting there. He's still in a crib, so this is his crib, which is from Ikea. Um, this little side table I actually picked up at a thrift shop. He's got a mirror. And this actually is a piece of art that I made. Um, you can see my little signature. Uh, Claire, 1999. So I would have been eight years old when I made this. So I thought it was like a really cool thing uh, to put in his room. And now his changing table is actually a desk um, that we thrifted. So uh, that was a good find. And probably my favorite part of his room is his ombre dresser. I got the dresser at Ikea and it was just unfinished wood and then I painted it myself uh, to be the ombre. And the rocking chair actually was thrifted and I just painted it to match. Oh. 
All right, next is the master bedroom, which Duke has now found the sunny spot of this room. Um, I will leave a link down below. I did like a really good speed clean of this room. Um, so I will leave that down below. But this in here, we actually have um, the vinyl flooring, the same as in our bathroom. And yes, Duke, stop it. <laughs> and actually, yes, this is a full size bed. It's like the largest that could really comfortably fit in this room. Um, so, <laughs> We sleep on a really tiny bed, don't we, Duke? This little box here is from Ikea, and our dresser is also from Ikea. Oh, another mirror, hello. And this is like the only reason that I'm okay with having such a tiny bedroom, and that is our walk-in closet, which is actually quite large. Oh. And this is where I store pretty much everything I own. So if it doesn't fit in the closet, then we get rid of it. We really have to have kind of strict rules on what we keep and what we let go of because we do not have room for it all. And here in the landing, this is where we store our towels and linens. I like half KonMari'd it, but it's been a little, a little shuffled. So um, yeah, that's our linens. The last room I'm going to show you is Fox's room, my three-year-old. Um, obviously, his name is Fox, so um, we gave him sort of a fox-themed room, um, but there's lots of other woodland animals as well. I got this print online, although I'm not sure where anymore. Um, a lot of these things are from Ikea or thrifted. That was from a thrift shop, and I just painted it blue. Um, this cube, I'm... Pretty sure I got it on Amazon. It's been a while, um, but if I can find it, I'll link it. Um, these little, like, boxes, which are super cute. Um, this chair, I actually got at Aldi, and I only paid, like, 20 bucks for it, and he got that for Christmas. Um, we have these little prints, which are from Etsy, and these were, like, in his nursery when he was, like, a little baby. I actually got this, um, stuffed animal, like, sling on Wish.com, so that was a good one. I got his little wolf at um, Target, and this is actually from a wish haul that I did with all Fox items. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, I know, I'm showing him your room, aren't I? Yeah, I took some head in. Oh, okay, okay. This dresser actually was my mother's as a child, then it was mine as a child, and it's been repainted tons of times, and uh, now it is Fox's. So, yeah, this little table is from Ikea. Um, this little stool is so fun. I actually found this at a thrift shop, and I just bought this little fur and, like, recovered it to make it more woodsy. This little chair he got actually from a lumberjack tournament, so, you know, we like to do things like that. Another organizational thing I use behind the door, um, this is just like, um, like an organizer. I think I got this on Wish actually too, and I actually put all of his underwear in there, um, you know, just because it makes it really easy to access. And one of my favorite things actually in this whole house is our um, big old hutch up here. Again, if you haven't noticed, we're not exactly um, overflowing with storage. And this is actually from a thrift shop and I got it for really cheap and it's just beautiful and really well made. This door is the scary attic and girl, I'm not going to take you up there. All right, you guys, that is the tour of my whole gigantic lol tiny house um actually this house it's about 1200 square feet and it is small but it has really served us really well over these last almost four years and my big announcement you guys i have actually put it up for sale today the listing went live just late last night and we already had a showing today so hopefully it will sell really fast um, it wasn't actually really in our plan to sell it right now. Um, I'll do another video, probably a financial video, and kind of explain how that all came to be. So you can look forward to getting that whole story. 
Um, but yeah, so definitely hit that subscribe button and stick around because we are um, looking for a new house. So there's going to be a lot more content having to do with homey stuff, decorating, um, hauls and things like that for the home. So uh, definitely stick around for that because I love it when one of my YouTube like people buys a new house and like there's the house tours and there's the room tours and all that stuff like I'm like way too into that so um, if you are too then this is going to be fun uh, for both of us so definitely wish me luck on selling uh, this 1916 beauty um, I hope you enjoyed it we really do love this house and we are sad to see it go but we just need a little bit more space. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And remember, I post new videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. I'd love to have you along. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.